the dolphin's been a, it's been a lifesaver for me. It's made me back to the person I used to be 20 years ago. The cost of pressure ulcer management is, is very high. So prevention becomes very important. We've been able to get patients on it who have not done well on other surfaces and healed up wounds that we never thought we were going to get healed. We could see immediately how well and fast the wounds were healing. The average emergency room patient spends 222 minutes laying on a stretcher. 40% of these patients are at risk for pressure wounds. Operating room procedures that last more than four hours triple the risk of tissue damage. 34% of patients with spinal cord injuries develop a pressure wound within 24 hours of injury. The dolphin works um, completely different than any other system that's out there. It uh, puts your patients in a state of buoyancy as if they were floating in water. So if you think about that, it takes all the pressure off and increases blood flow to not just the hip or the backside, it also does the elbows, the head, the heels, all those very difficult areas to heal. So it'll prevent the wounds from happening. And for those that already have wounds, it's gonna help that healing time just by the way of floating the patients as opposed to laying on a surface that they're pushing down into. The Dolphin Fluid Immersion System works across the patient care continuum, which is critically important when preventing wounds. From stretchers in the emergency room to the operating room, to beds in acute care units. Through long-term care and on wheelchairs, the Dolphin works in all settings, whether the patient is 90 pounds or 900. Most spinal cord injured patients will have some skin breakdown or some pressure ulcer at some point during their life. We have looked at it at one facility where I was. We spent um, on one year over a million and a half dollars just on pressure ulcers. The services that are available for a cushion as well as the services that are available for a bed become very important um, in, in managing that cost. By uh, um, investing in superior services initially, that prevention piece became very important and was able therefore to decrease not only um, the length of stay and the cost associated with that, but also was able to decrease the occurrence of in-hospital ulcers for people who would develop a hospital-acquired pressure ulcer. In 1997, the U.S. Navy began development of a technology to help safely transport specially trained marine mammals, such as dolphins, over long distances outside of water. Until that time, dry transport of these mammals, along with the exposure to the shearing force of gravity, caused internal organ trauma and circulatory distress. An innovative system was designed that simulated floating while the marine mammals were resting on a solid surface. Similar to the marine mammals being transported, human bodies are also subject to the forces of gravity when sitting or laying on a solid surface for even a short period of time. The Dolphin Fluid Immersion Technology addresses the root cause of pressure ulcers, dramatically reduces soft tissue deformation, and significantly increases tissue perfusion. If a wound gets worse or infected, it certainly costs more dollars and takes longer to care for. We use the, the dolphin mattress in, in particular to help us prevent, not just address wounds, but to prevent the wounds because that adds significant time to our patients, length of stay, and therefore dollars as well. I got ran off the road by a car, motorcycle accident, and was paralyzed. He was stuck in bed. He couldn't get up, he was miserable. I know several times he just, it's like, what's the point of even bothering? My doctor was telling me about the dolphin cushion. It's been a great thing for me. My whole life has been a competition. And for me to go and be able to shoot or uh, throw the discus or the javelin, that's very important to me. And I couldn't do it if I didn't have the dolphin. It's, it's, it's spectacular because you get your own freedom back.